This is Nama Moitra, Member of Parliament from Krishnagar, West Bengal, and National Spokesperson for the All India Trinamool Congress. I am here to put a few things on record. The horrific rape and murder of a young doctor on the premises of the government R.G. Kaur Hospital on the morning of the 9th of August has shocked us all. It is absolutely insane that a, that a young girl goes to her workplace and after her 36 hour shift goes to rest in a room and is brutally raped and murdered. Our heart, my heart bleeds for the victim and we totally understand the outpouring of genuine grief, the outpouring of genuine insecurity and the outpouring of solidarity that is on the streets. The fear is real, the insecurity is real. This could be me, this could be you, this could be all of us women. All of us go out there every day outside leaving the home and the least we can expect is an atmosphere of security in our workplace. This is something that all of us are worried about and that outpouring is out on the streets. We respect that and are in complete solidarity with that. It is perfectly fair for doctors who look after all of us, who look after patients all day, give up most of their lives towards this, that they demand a safe and secure workplace. We are completely with you. There are a couple of things about this case that need, I think, some kind of clearing up. And it is understandable in the fog of emotion that there's room also for a lot of false propaganda. So I'm here to put a few things on record. The story that is going around that the state government and most of all the chief minister and all of us who are elected representatives are indulging in some kind of a systematic cover up is absolutely wrong and incorrect. The chief minister was in Jhargram, Medinipur when the incident happened. When she was informed about it, she spoke to the family of the girl immediately. Upon her return to Calcutta, she went and visited them. Within 12 hours, the police arrested the prime suspect on the basis of um, CCTV evidence. Now, all of the investigation depends on the DNA, on the forensics, and the forensics are with the central forensic lab. It is impossible to make arrests without either forensic evidence or CCTV evidence. The chief minister even came out and told the family that if you're not okay with the way we are progressing, we're absolutely okay with this being given to the CBI. The Calcutta High Court, in its wisdom, has given the case now to the CBI. The CBI is carrying on an investigation which the state government and the Calcutta police are cooperating fully with. The police have made no mention of any cover-up anywhere. Whatever questions there may be about the conduct of the uh, people in the administration and the people in charge in Archicor Hospital are justified and barring that, everything has been done by the state government to stand by the victim of the family and to ensure that justice is given. All we want today is for the perpetrators to be brought to book as soon as possible and for women in Bengal to feel that this was justifiably the safest place in India for them and for Calcutta which has consistently been number one on the NCRB women's um, safety number one that we want it to be like that. So there's no cover up. Mamata Banerjee is the only lady chief minister in India and has always stood for women's causes to somehow uh, uh, put a political leaning to this and say that all of us are uh, Lapata ladies and all of us are somehow Gungi Guriyas is, is completely some kind of political narrative that we had to face before and that we, are going to, that we are going to fight back again. We are with women. We are number one in the country for the safety of women. Bengal remains a safe place and the chief minister of Bengal has done everything in our power to stand with the victim's family and to bring the perpetrators to book and we hope that the CBI will do a very quick job of investigation and that we will continue to provide a safe and secure environment for everybody. Thank you.